Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today, I actually have Randy Sass, our Director of Operations, with me. And uh, he's gonna tell you guys what we're doing today. Hey guys, this is my 2014 Hyundai Veloster R-Spec. I've had the car for about six years. I bought it brand new back in early 2015. And I've been collecting some parts for a few years now. And we're finally gonna get the opportunity to actually put them on. Finally. So, yeah, finally. <laughs> so I'm really excited. We're gonna do a complete overhaul of the front. So we're going to be replacing the hood fenders, uh, had the bumper repainted, we're going to do a few other little things that uh, you'll see at the end there. And we're also going to put a spoiler on the back. Yep, yep. So um, I think today we're hoping to just get the fenders knocked out, right? That's the goal for that's, today. That's the goal. Get okay. the fenders on. Cool, cool. So this is, uh, this is the state of the car uh, right now. So Randy's been working back here getting it prepped. So this is, uh, yeah. It, we're excited, and man, I, it's this is long overdue. I think you already said that, but it uh, it's I don't know, man. This is gonna. I I really like the modifications you picked out. I think it's gonna look sick. It will definitely look better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first thing we got to do, which Randy's already started on, is uh, get rid of the splash guard here, the old one. Uh, we're going to be replacing it. Man, he's just manhandling that right out of it. <laughs> just rip it. <laughs> we're going to be replacing it with these brand new shiny. Ve very nice. Very nice right there. That's right. That's right. Get this. Get out of here. So there we go. There it is. Yep. Randy, the, Randy the surgeon with his, his scalpel. <laughs> I never heard mm -hmm. anybody refer to a oh, flathead screwdriver yeah. with a scalpel. Yeah, well, the, sure. the uh, mechanics version of a scalpel, maybe. Maybe that's better. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, for any of you uh, Veloster owners out there that want to know how to remove your side skirts, this, this is what you've got to do. You, you've got to get way down in here <laughs> in this fender after you've taken out the splash guard. And work out, I don't even know if you can see down in there, it's so dark. I'm gonna work out some blue plastic clips. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Randy's uh Randy's doing this for you guys. That's right. If you wanna do it, this is the way to do it. So you just gotta buy a lift. Yep, yep. <laughs> Step one. Because I would not be doing this on the ground. Yeah, step one, get a shop or a nice pad that's outside. Buy a, um, a super expensive lift and <laughs> run electricity, do all that. Um, and, then, uh, and then you can easily, easily, easily take these side skirts off of these velocities. That's, that's all you need. And a flathead screwdriver. Right. Don't, don't forget that. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Maybe. Moment of truth. What now? Is there something else? Those needle lines. The skirt clip. Those it's always the skirt. always the skirt clip getting in the way. Story of my life. <laughs> All right. Oh, moment of truth. Take three. Yeah. All right. So that was attempt number one. We got it. First try. First try. First try. As far as <laughs> as far as you guys know, we got it on the first try. Yeah. Um, wow. That was that was a pain. That was a pain. Definitely. That was not easy <laughs> because of that whole area down there. Yep. Like that is what side skirts. Yeah. Wonderful side skirts. Man. Yep. So now we got to transfer all this stuff to the new fender. Oh, okay. And then try to finagle that back, back on. in there. All right. This new fender looks dope. It's gonna look so good on there, man. Oh yeah. It's got so much, it's like super aggressive with those cuts in it compared to the, uh, the OEM one. Okay. So, this. Oh, 
Yep, oh. sacrifice my fingers, but I think it's in there. Okay. Okay, wanted to give you guys a quick update on where we're at with the Veloster so far. Um, there was not a lot of documentation online on how these fenders come off. And we are working with a fiberglass aftermarket fender. And the fitment is a little off. We're going to have to make some tweaks. Um, one, of those, one of those spots is right here. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a gap. Um, not much, but it's just from where the plastic clips in don't go into the holes in the new fender. They didn't make the, the holes for the clips big enough. And then um, we had one little, one little, uh, where is it here? Uh, oh yeah, one little oopsie happened right there. Um, so we'll get that repaired. Um, overall, the the look though is sick. So just got to get a couple things buttoned up here, and and massaged into place, and and then we uh, we'll be able to get the other side done. I think relatively quickly compared to how long it's taken just for this one. So. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, we're probably gonna work on the other half in a few days. And so we will catch you guys then. This is day two now of the Veloster Fender install. Um, and actually Randy's been putting in a lot of work and he's already got the second fender on. So you guys see this is the driver's side over here. You got the passenger side over here looking good, way better. And uh, Randy, I know, um, well I see you've got the side skirts off here. Why, why is that? Well, I took the side skirts off because I want to have some white accents. So as you can see, if you look at the front bumper, I painted the trim on the bottom there white. So yeah. I'm doing the exact same thing with the side skirts because they have a little gray strip on the bottom. So I pulled those off and painting those in the progress of painting those. And that's, that's these over here. So you can see behind the original color is behind there. It's kind of that grayish oh, yeah. kind of color. And then now they're going to be white. Yeah. That's gonna look way better. Yeah. And I think you said too, that also made uh, installing the driver's side fender way easier. Yes, it was a huge difference in install time, taking the fender out and putting it in, taking those side skirts off. Yeah, yeah, a lot easier just on and off, not having to like squeeze it behind or anything like that. Amazingly though, I could not find any videos or tutorials on how to do that, so pretty much had to figure this out on my own. Yeah. So I might be making a little video later on how to do this specifically. Yeah, so cool. So yeah, as you guys can see, um, fenders are on, they look great. And uh, in the next video, we're actually going to be installing the grill and the bumper, which that's what Randy's prepping right now. And you got a front lip? Yes. Two to put on? There's a front lip to put on. Okay. So something, something that even adds more accent than this white piece here. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, all right, cool. So that's it for uh, this one, guys, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>